Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Alright, we have a really fun episode today. It's that time of the week again. It's time for the Undervalued Keys Show! Alright guys, now before we get dived into the Undervalued Key of the Week, I do want to let you know about the 600 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 600 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Marvel number no. one variant. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel. That'll give you a chance to win when we hit 600 subscribers. Now, Micronauts number one. I know it's kind of a different pick. You're like, what's going on? <laughs> I know. It's just a cool book. I've always thought it was a cool book. Something about this uh, Dave Cockrum and Al Milgram cover um, kind of draws me. I, I, I think it's sweet. Um, you know, it's from that from that area era of Marvel Comics with the uh, with the banner across the top. And we have all the main characters here too, including the, the new character Bug and the new bad guy, uh, Baron Karza. And this is the first appearance of Baron Karza and the Bug. And uh, as we'll see, there are a couple characters here that are still owned by Marvel. If you're like, hey, what are you, what are you talking about? That's not uh, Marvel property anymore. <laughs> Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's just a fun comic book, guys. And I, I thought it had it has kind of an interesting story, so <laughs> I thought I would highlight it on today's uh, episode. So, Micronauts number one. Now, originally, uh, there was in 1974, there was a toy line that, that was created in Japan called Microman. And so they made this, this Micro Man line of toys, right, and released it in Japan. And as happened a bunch of times, um, you know, uh, Americans uh, bought the rights to the molds and made their own and sold them here in America. And at the same time, they were kind of like, you know, rebranding it, calling it the Micro Knots. Um, and uh, the writer, uh, Bill Mantlo, actually was was kind of was kind of uh seeing this advertisement right and so he went to the heads of marvel with this story pitch like hey i saw you know i've seen this done before with other action figures i think these are cool here's a story i got a story for a bunch of the character you know a bunch of the characters that they have uh one thing led to another you know marvel reached out to uh the owners of the micronauts and and there we go <laughs> you know so so it happened and uh, it, it ran for quite a while uh, it has a lot of a lot of fans from of comics from the early 80s will definitely remember seeing it on the shelves um, and so I yeah I think it's a cool book man um, now unfortunately there are rights issues currently so Marvel can't use all the characters um, some of the team members included in the Micronauts, there's a big giant list of them, guys, but some of the team members, the some of the standouts were Acro Gear, Biotron, uh, Bug, Silesia, Microtron, and many more. Now, um, years later, actually, because uh, three of the characters are, are owned by Marvel and are Marvel properties, uh, so three of the year, three of the characters, excuse me, came back later. Uh, so we have Arcturus, Marionette, and Bug uh, do re reappear many many years later in a run, uh, short-lived run called the Microns. Um, but that's that's kind of the history of the characters. It haven't really been used since. Um, a bunch of the characters are not owned by Marvel currently. But uh, it's a fun little pocket universe for, for, uh, from Marvel from the early 80s that, that I, I, for some reason, am gravitated towards. Um, now, as always, we'll go ahead and dive into some numbers and talk about, uh, you know, why I think this is an undervalued key right now. So I've talked about this book before. Um, you can find raw copies of this book from $10 to $15 in my eBay digging I, I was able to find sold listings from about ten to fifteen dollars for this book, so it still it still holds some value in the hearts of collectors, right? And uh, we're really gonna see that here in in the numbers. Um, 
So as, as always, I use my CGC account to go ahead and look up the numbers on the book. There are 3,441 uh, Micronauts number ones. So a reasonable amount, you know what I'm saying, not the heights of, a, of a Amazing Spider-Man 252 with 25,000, but 3,500 is a pretty respectable number for a book from 1979. And so I think that's one of the things that shows um, that, that there's, there's a collector base out there for this book, right? Um, now, in a 9.8, there's 867. Uh, in a 9.6, there's 1,042. In a 9.4, there are 557. Um, now, I did some, some, more, uh, some more eBay digging into the numbers on some of those top grades just to see what they're selling for, what the lows are. Um, so in a 9.8, I did find a low of $150, guys. Uh, so somebody got, you know, plus tax. So somebody got a 9.8 for 150. I think there was two actually I saw that go, go around that 150. Um, there was also a high of 310. So you know what I'm saying, but that low at 150 for the 9.8, in a 9.6, um, I saw a low of 89 with a high of 107. In a 9.4, um, now this is where the, the numbers got a little more tricky on a 9.4. There were lots of lower accepted offers than, uh, than the low that I was able to see, right? Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't see what they actually accepted at. Um, because their offers were, let's say, sixty nine ninety nine, and they accepted a low a lower offer. So I don't know; those might be lower. The low that I saw, uh, shipping and handling included plus tax, was seventy four dollars in the nine four, and uh, eighty six dollars for the high of the nine four. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just think it's a super cool issue. Uh, Micronauts number one, <laughs> just. Just one of those fantastic covers to um, by you know super talents Dave Cockrum and Al, Mag Al Milgram, um, and I, I'm a fan. Kind of obviously have a. I actually submitted this copy myself, uh, so I found it, pressed it, cleaned it, and submitted it. And it, so I don't know. I, I think I'm just in grading fee and and probably like I think I bought it ten dollars at the comic store, maybe fifteen, something like that. All right, guys, that's what I have today. I'm probably $50 in, I guess, if, you, if you're curious. Round about there. Um, all right, guys, that's what I have today. Micronauts number one is the undervalued key of the week. Just a fun key, guys. You see it out there in, your, in the wilds in a, in a dollar bin or a $5 bin. I think it's a good pickup if you can get it under, under the numbers I was talking about. Definitely. And, and you like the book. Don't ever go out and buy a book you don't like. Remember, that's always the key rule to this, to this show here, guys, is, is only buy what you like. So, you know, as, as if you don't use me as like, oh, Jacob said to go buy the book. I'm going to go buy the book. Don't do that. <laughs> so if you like the book and you, and you think these sound like, oh, wow, that's actually way more affordable than I thought it was. That's kind of the point of this. All right, guys, that's what I have today. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe for your chance to win the Marvel number one when we hit 600 subscribers.